everybody. Y'all, look. Christmas is coming. I know some of y'all already have your Christmas day go out, but we're a little slow on the draw. I have to get my mind right to start doing all of that. But listen, anywho, we're getting ready to start decorating for Christmas. And now I've decided all of a sudden I want a white Christmas tree. So I went online and I started looking. And these Christmas trees, three, four hundred dollars, because I wanted a white one. Maybe one that was kind of flocked. Honey, we went to the garage. Went to the garage and I had pulled out my tree right here that's in the garage. So we get ready to do a DIY, okay? Now, it has these little, look, y'all see them in my hand. These little, it's pre-lit. And I had started cutting off um, all these little cords and I was gonna unwrap them from around all the branches. But y'all, that's too much. I'm not doing all that. So I'm hoping that once I spray paint it, you're not gonna see them. And also, the place that I'm putting it, I'm putting it in our dining room at our bay window and it's like nobody will be up on the tree. I mean, you have to go in the dining room to walk up to the tree to even see, you know, if you possibly will notice that they're still on there, and I don't think you will. So, you're gonna be admiring the beauty of the tree from a distance, so you're not gonna know that they're on there, and I'm not gonna spend no, no two and three hours trying to unwrap these lights from around these little branches. Don't have time for all that, okay? This is not gonna be a three hour project. So, I went to um, Home Depot and I got this little $1.98. I bought two cans of this white spray paint. Y'all are hoping they like water. Anyway, two cans of it. And then, um, I already had this little sea green. I used this when I was painting my pumpkins. I don't know. I might want a little bit on there. We'll see. And then from Home Depot I picked up this Rust-Oleum glitter. Oh, that's pretty. I think it was about $9.98. And then uh, y'all remember when I was trying to fix our wall in the, in the house with some super glue? I mean not super glue. Hot glue. That's a whole nother video y'all but I really did. I was trying to fix a crack. Anyway, so my husband fixed it the right way. So he used this knock down texture stuff for walls and ceilings because our walls are textured. So I might try to put a little bit of this on to kind of give me a flocked effect, effect, effect. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, so I experiment, y'all. When I'm decorating, I experiment with my decor just like I do in the kitchen with them pound cakes, okay? So, and I'm not necessarily worried about trying to get it totally white. Um, but we, we'll see. Even some of the pine cones, honey, they're gonna be white too. They just look like they have some snow on them. So that's what we're getting ready to do. And it's a beautiful day, y'all. It's about 75 degrees. It's kind of hotterish. Hotterish out here. So let me hurry up and get this tree painted. So you guys, um, you see this is the before and then we'll see the after. But, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting little project. My, my husband was like, you going to paint a d d tree show and is, sir.
Okay, now I'm finished with the first can. And what I was trying to do, I almost used one can on the entire tree. I still have a little bit at the top of the very top piece. But I was trying to kind of get like a little even coat, at least with one can, because I uh, do some cheap paint. I guess that's why it was for dollar and nine eight cent. But it, it works. It's okay. So now I'm going to start with my second can and then I should definitely be able to get more coverage. And I also forgot to mention I'm not wearing a mask because I'm outside in a well ventilated area. So um, make sure you keep that in mind. You might need to wear a mask, but I'm not since I'm outside. So what I'm gonna do now, since I pretty much have the entire tree covered, I'm gonna go in really close with the little bit of white spray paint that I have left. And um, like I say, just be really close to the branches now that I'm with the spray. Okay, now this is the after. I don't know if, first of all, I love the little peaks of green. It's like it's almost, <sighs> kind of reminds me of maybe a bronzy or, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I think it's going to go perfect with my dining room. Um, any of the little wires is still kind of peeking out. If they are very, very obvious or noticeable, I can just go on and just uh, snip those out if need be. But look at the shimmer on the pine cone. And I was really trying to just focus on really the front part of the tree. But you guys, this is so pretty. I don't know that the camera is doing it justice. And then we have another one up here. Try not to move too fast. I hate when people go too fast. It make me dizzy when I'm trying to look at a video. But are you seeing the shimmer on the pine cone? So you guys, this was just the perfect day to do this because like I said, it's really warm and it can dry for several hours before I bring it in. Y'all, it's hot. I'm shanty. My, my hands are a mess. But I cannot wait to get it decorated and put it in our dining room area. It's going to be so pretty. Even with my decor, I'm going to keep it real simple. I don't, I don't do the most when I decorate for Christmas. I really don't. I don't like spending hours and hours decorating a tree. No. So we're going to keep it simple and elegant, but it's going to look so pretty. So I'm sure that you will see of course this video before you see the finished DIY and decorated and all beautiful and ready for Christmas okay but I just wanted to share that shimmer is so pretty all right so I hope you guys see my vision if not just hang tight you'll see it decorated real real soon but thank you guys so much for watching I tell you this right here spending what one two Maybe about ten, fifteen dollars certainly beats spending three, four hundred dollars on another eight foot tree. This is an eight foot tree and it's exactly what I needed because it's not too too wide. I didn't need anything too large for my dining room area. So this was perfect. So honey, we drug this bad boy out the garage and pulled out some paint and made it do what it do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I already look forward to you joining me again next time. Bye. Bye.